Hi, I'm Nancy Wynn. I'm a second year resident at Mass Ioneer. So my parents are originally from Vietnam and have an older sister and she was born there as well. And um, so they basically survived through the Vietnam War and they came as refugees and I was born um, a year after they came. So. so I attended public school all my life mm -hmm. until high school. Um, inner city schools, I was in ESL classes and, um, and then I don't know, I just kind of took a leap of faith and decided I'm going to pack up my bags in California and move to the East Coast. So I went to Yale for college and then after Yale I went to Harvard Medical School and then went back to San Diego for a year to do my internship and then came back to Mass Ioneer to do my residency. So. Well, I was a medical student here and I did a rotation here and I really enjoyed my experience. I had great mentors. I um, sought out to see the different specialties and I felt like everyone's really friendly here and the environment was just very conducive to learning. Um, as well as being very academic, you know, there were many guest speakers and everything, so I was really intrigued by that. When it came down to it, I felt like this was the program where I could be trained as a, you know, very competent clinician, but at the same time, be very well worse in academics, reading journal articles. Um, so I think the combination of just the environment, um, the resources available, the mentorship, really just solidified my decision to want to stay here. The residents. <laughs> Real, my co-residents really make this place really special. We're a very tight-knit group of people. We help each other out. And um, I don't know what it is, but somehow we choose amazing people to be our co-residents. It's a big program, but we all get along really well, you know, among classes, among the fellows. So um, that's what, you know, kind of makes this experience really enjoyable being here. So. Overall, I'm very, very happy with my choice. I, I had no regrets. I mean, it's always scary even if you were a medical student here and you've experienced it as a medical student because you don't really know quite what it's like. But I think it's um, met and even exceeded my expectations. And a lot of great mentors here, you know, across different specialties who've guided me and are still guiding me in um, what I want to do with my career and in the future. And um, my co-residents, some of them are my best, they became my best friends, you know, which is really close. We hang out both in and outside of work. I think I've grown both um, personally and professionally while being here. And I hope to um, continue that, you know, for the next year and a half while I'm here. So a lot of teaching here, you know, both informal in the clinics when you're with the attendings. They oftentimes do chart rounds after clinics to go over interesting patients and if you have any questions, but there's also a very formal teaching. So there's many, many different conferences, you know, there's more than you could attend sometimes, and I think that's what makes it special because we have both specialists in this hospital at Mass Ioneer, but we also have invited speakers elsewhere who bring a different perspective for us residents to see. Last Friday, we just had a visiting professor for the Chandler Visiting Professorship, where uh, Dr. Monty Mills from uh, Children's Hospital of Pennsylvania came, and we took him out to dinner on Friday, and just, you know, had a great chance to get to know him, learn more about his career, um, his specialty. Just learning the basics of cataract surgery. Before this rotation, I felt so uncomfortable going into the eye, but I think both Dr. Chang and Dr. Bravoli just really gave me the confidence in the operating room to encourage me, you know. And now I've done all the steps, and I, I feel very proud of that. So we have a um, computer simulated um, model called the IC, and that's actually really helped me and I'm sure many other residents um, get more comfortable with the surgeries. Um, I know that one of the key steps in cataract surgery is the capsule rexus where you tear open the bag, the capsule bag, and the simulation actually simulates it very well and it's even harder than the real thing. So I remember practicing many, many times and once I did my first one with the attending, there were they were really impressed. They were like, wow, you feel really comfortable. And I think part of the reason is just practicing over and over on that model. You know, it's open anytime we have the keys to it and you could just go in and it performs, simulates all the steps in cataract surgery. And we also have a wet lab and um, an actual um, fecal cataract machine where we could practice on it. So I've done all those and it's been really helpful. I think just keeping an open mind. Um, no program is perfect, obviously, but I think finding the program that fits your needs and knowing how you learn the best, I think, is key. What may be 
ideal for one person may not be ideal for the other person. So I would just encourage them to apply and interview at different places, as many as you can, and see and compare the programs. Only you know yourself the best and how you learn what type of environment, what kind of personal experience you want. So um, that would be my advice to them.